What's going on guys? Audio you here? Welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got another tier list, but it's not going to be the attackers, midfielders or defenders. And it's not going to be the icon tier list either. It's going to be the hero tier list. A lot of people have been waiting for this video, so I do want to get into it. But before I do, if you do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. We've got an outrageous amount of heroes to go through today. So let's get into it. Starting off with Yaya Torre's foot fantasy card. The card is incredible. I packed this card on the main account absolute beast one of the best midfielders in this game 100 percent he is going to be our first s plus tier card ricardo carvalho's foot fantasy card he's not guaranteed to get the upgrades but this card is very very solid do i believe he is an overpriced sbc i do when you can get players like Konate, for example for around 500 000 coins i don't think there's really a need to spend like 700 plus on this card but i must admit he is a very nice card i am gonna put him in the s tier julie's foot fantasy card Solid SBC as well. Better price than Ricardo Cavalio, that's for sure. Great on the ball. Fast as well. Shooting ability when I was using him was a little bit all over the place. And he is also a super weak player as well. I'm going to put Julie in the A plus tier. Voller Foot Fantasy, a player that needs to fit your playstyle, a player that doesn't feel unreal on the ball. But if you know how to use him, he will definitely shine for you. I'm going to put Voller in the A plus tier. Al Jabbar, even though he has got the finesse shot plus, and we all know how good that finesse shot plus is in this game, I feel like the card is just not good enough. We have to put him all the way down into the B plus tier. Morientes, Morientes is solid. Shooting wise, very nice. Good heading ability as well. I just feel like though, a better player, a better striker is that foot fancy voler. So I'm going to put Morientes just a level below, and that is the A tier. Melito, good shooting as well. Not bad heading ability. Dribbling wise, not great on the ball, let's be fair. I'm also going to put him in the same tier as Morientes. I'm going to put him in that A tier. I feel like these two are on a very similar level. Definitely not on that Voller level. Wesley Schneider, five-star skill moves, five-star weak foot. As an attacking centre mid, the guy is simply incredible. Wesley Schneider all the way into the S plus tier you go. Kuehl, base card, okay. Good pace, good travel on him as well. Not a weak player, but definitely not a strong player either. I'm going to put him in the A tier. I don't think he deserves to go lower, and I definitely don't feel like he deserves to go on that Julie level. Cola, the pace. The pace is just not good enough. Tackling-wise and physicals, there. But that pace, especially to, against the attackers we play up against now, yeah, Cola will definitely, definitely struggle. B plus tier for Cola. Foot Fantasy McManaman, very solid card, very solid winger. Doesn't really go for that much on the market as well. I'm actually surprised how cheap this card is, because he definitely is a solid card. I don't think he's S tier. For me, he is a solid A plus tier. The technical dribble that he has got, the technical plus, is very nice with like the R1 dribbles. A plus for him. Crouch, not that guy. Just not that guy. He will get a better card for sure eventually. And I'm telling you right now, that card will be unreal, especially with how headers are in this game. With his height especially, yeah, he will be very good at one point. B plus though for this base card happen shooting wise it's there but the dribbling is so bad the pace is not here either i'm gonna put papin in the b plus tier nakata not a great card listen he's just one of those players that offers you something but not anything that great i'm gonna put nakata also in the b plus tier ala warren i'm actually so surprised they haven't gave him a uh, promo card this year last year he had what foot fantasy he also had a world cup card as well those two cards were unreal those two cards were up there with like the best attackers in the game this card this year i feel like this base card is very very mid compared to the other heroes we have i'm gonna put ala warren in the a tier though i know i definitely don't believe he deserves to go into the b plus tier but yeah, i'm very surprised they haven't gave him a promo card this year king underrated in my opinion he has always always been underrated tackling wise insane the pace as well not the fastest of center backs not as fast as someone like ricardo cavalio but the pace is there i'm gonna put him a level below ricardo cavalio and that is the a plus tier beasley when i got this card i think he was on the rtg i thought the card was going to be so mid I ended up using him and honestly surprisingly not that bad and on defense way better than what you would think i'm gonna put him in the a tier Honestly, not a terrible card, but again, not a good card either. Dirk Kout, triple threat card. Always been a player that performs better than what his stats say. You look at on, you look at the stats on defense and you think, okay, this guy is going to be a liability on defense. He's not. He's honestly not going to do anything. Then you use him in game and you realize the interceptions are really solid. The tackling ability is really solid. I'm going to put him 
and he ate it. Foot Fantasy Company, they already gave him a plus one upgrade, but they went ahead and went further and gave him a plus three to reactions and plus three to composure. He has 98 reactions now. It's one of the best center backs in this game for sure. Company, S plus tier. The Champions League card, I've used the Champions League card for so, so long. I ended up actually recently pushing him to a side. He is still a very good card, but I wouldn't say he is S plus tier good. I would say that Champions League card is S tier. Paolo Futre, talking about straight S tier cards. The one thing that holds this card back is the freestyle weak foot because he is amazing. But yeah, having a freestyle weak foot, I'm going to put him in the S tier. Dempsey, base Dempsey. Yeah, I think there's only one place he's going to go. B plus for him. Viali Champions League card. Another one of those cards that you need to know how to use. A card that's not going to fit everyone's playstyle. But if he fits your playstyle, you will obviously see him shine for you. I'm going to put Viali in the A plus tier. I'd rather have him over like Morientes and Melito for sure. Ramirez. Unreal. Unreal. One of the best box-to-box -box midfielders in this game. Crazy in a DM position as well. The thing that makes him stand out over a lot of other midfielders is the pace. The pace is a joke. He is so, so fast. Recommend an anger chem style if you are going to pick up this card just to give him the extra physicals because realistically, he doesn't really need that much more pace. Ramirez. S plus tier for sure. JJ Okocha, another one of those players that I cannot believe has not received a promo card. What are we waiting for, EA? Honestly, a foot fantasy for this guy would have been crazy. I think he had a foot fantasy card last year, so that's maybe why they didn't do it this year. He's still okay. Shooting wise, that's the thing that really lets him down. The shooting ability is just not on the level you want it to be at. Dribbling wise, still there. Pace is nice as well. I'm going to put JJ in the A tier. Rickin. Honestly, one of the worst Champions League cards you can get in this game. Really bad. I'm going to put Rick in, in the B+. Di Natale, solid card still. Finesse shot plus. Great on the ball. Not a slow player. We're definitely looking at the S tier and the A plus tier here, for sure. I'm leaning more towards, though, the A plus tier. Very good card, but I don't think he's on that S tier level. Enzo. Enzo's all right. Again, not a crazy card. I would say a level below Di Natale. And that is the A tier. Keen, attacking AI on Keen has always been something that stands out. He's always had that beautiful attacking AI. Again, though, he's not on that Di Natale level. I'm going to also put him in the A tier. Bonpastor got her on the main account. Uh, I think it was two days ago. Very, very solid fullback. Great on the ball. Great going forward. Beautiful passing ability. You can actually go for a long shot with her as well. The one thing that I wasn't a fan of is the physicals. The strength on a card lets you down. You can see the strength being annoying as well because when you're trying to go in for that shoulder barge, she can't really, you know, push the play out the way it kind of just bounces off. So Bonpastor, I think she's very good, but I don't think she is S plus tier good. I'm going to put her in the S tier. Park Ji Sung, there's something there. He offers you pace, right? The pace in the midfield is nice. He doesn't feel terrible in the ball. He offers you a okay amount in that midfield. I'm not going to put him in a B plus tier. I'm going to put Park Ji Sung in the A tier. Risa, Okay as well, not an amazing fullback, not a terrible fullback. I'm also going to stick him in the A tier. Donovan, not great, just straight up. Not on Keane's level, not on Enzo's level, not on uh, Morientes or Melito's level. Donovan, B plus for him. Marquisio, I cannot believe they gave him Anticipate plus and Block plus. A midfielder has those two playstyle pluses. You use this guy as like a CDM. Unreal, literally unreal, but 100%, I think the way to go is as a sentiment because of the fact that he can offer you something going forward. He has a long shot ability. He has an amazing dribbling ability. The card is incredible. I'm going to stick him in the S plus tier. Solskjaer, shooting wise, good. Dribbling wise, definitely not good. Pace wise, okay. He's definitely better than those strikers in the B plus tier. I'm going to put Solskjaer in the A tier. Janola's triple threat card. He came out as an SBC a few days ago. The card is unreal. He is. He's an absolute joke. He's so good with the R1 dribbling. The pace is amazing. The dribbling is solid. The shooting ability is up there. Janola is just an insanely good card. I'm definitely going to put him in the S plus tier. Cordoba. Cordoba's height is an issue, but if you don't mind the height, if you don't mind the small center backs, honestly, you will see this guy be really, really good for you. It's just the height definitely does hold him back a little bit. I'm going to put Cordoba in the A plus tier. There's absolutely no chance he goes on at Ricardo Carvalho level, but A plus tier for Cordoba. Ebede Pele, amazing. 
the pace as well, the rapid plus with the quick step play style, crazy at getting him behind. You play him in a left center forward position and just go for those shots across goal, they fly in. I'm going to put Bede Pele in the S tier. Kessler's foot fancy card, one of those midfielders that just offers you so much in the midfield. She is definitely an amazing card. The thing that she doesn't offer you too much of is the physicals. She's not a strong player, but she's a very good player. I'm going to put Kessler in the S tier. Lucio, I think there's one place and one place only this card is going to go. And I think everyone knows exactly where it is. S plus tier. I don't think I need to say much. You guys know how good Lucio is in this game. Marquez, too slow way too slow we go for one of the best center backs in the game to a player that just has not got that pace i'm gonna put him in the b plus tier lazarazu solid i don't like the fact that he is three star three star though if he was four star three star or even three star four star it would have been so much nicer to work with going forward knowing that i'm not gonna pass on a three star weak foot or knowing that at least i can do like a lacroqueta pass with him it's just a three star three star holds this card back a little bit but he's still a very good card and i am gonna put him in the s tier Govu, not bad. Not amazing card, but not bad at all. Shooting is there. The pace is there. He doesn't feel amazing on the ball, but doesn't feel bad on the ball. Definitely better than all the strikers in the A tier. I'm going to put Govu in the A+. Brolin. Brolin is actually very cheap compared to how good he is. Honestly, like value-wise, he is there. He is very, very nice. I am not going to say, though, he's on that Paolo Futre level. Absolutely no chance. He's a good card. But I'm going to say A+. Plus. I don't think he deserves to go any higher than that. Cole, triple threat card, underrated. Always been underrated in my opinion. Still a very nice card. A card that I'm going to put on the same tier as someone like Brolin. When you use this card in game, you'll realize how good he is on the ball. And how he is in a weak player. He's a player that doesn't get pushed out of the way very easily. He's a player that actually has a bit of strength to him. Even though it might not say on the card, once you use him in game, you'll realize the strength really ain't bad at all. A plus for Cole. Forlan. Hmm. Shooting is good, but the dribbling ability. The dribbling ability holds him back. I'm going to put Forlan in the A tier. Costa, not an amazing card either, to be honest. I'm not going to put him in the same tier as those players in the A plus tier. Costa, I'm going to move my cards up here and move him into the A tier. Mascherano's foot fantasy. I ended up using him on the day he came out as a midfielder. Do not use this card as a centre mid. Do not. Use him as a DM. Centre mid, I feel like you need a player that's got better dribbling because his dribbling is so bad. But defensively, the guy is very good. I'm not going to put him on the same tier as someone like Park Ji Sung. No chance. I'm going to put Mascherano in the A plus tier. Berbatov, okay. Again, just an all right striker. Nothing too crazy. I'm going to put Berbatov in the A tier. Cap de Villa, I cannot believe he has not got a special card. I feel like there was so there's so many cards in this game, so many heroes in this game that were so good last year, like Alawaran, like JJ Koch, for example, like Cap de Villa, that just has not got a promo card this year. I'm going to put Cap de Villa in the A tier. I feel like it's a card that is still all right but not on the same tier as those A-plus tier players. I feel like he is not an A-plus tier fullback. Smolarek? Foot Fantasy Smolarek is solid. Good shooting, good pace, good dribbling ability, but not amazing dribbling ability. There is definitely a few turns you will notice in there being a little bit awkward. I'm going to put Smolarek in the A-plus tier. Riziki, all right as well. Not a great cam, not a bad cam either. A tier for Riziki. Lipmanen, his dribbling ability is just not good enough to put him in the A tier. Lipmanen's dribbling ability, especially in that cam position, it needed to be better. Lipmanen, B+. Plus. Tevez, ooh. Five-star skill moves, four-star weak foot, crazy shooting, really good dribbling. I think it has to be, right? It has to be done. S plus tier for the man himself, Tevez. He is an absolutely insane striker. Scott? Scott's all right. I feel like Scott lacks on the strength area for sure, lacks on the height area for sure. I'm looking at the S tier. I mean, we've got a player like Bumpastor there. In my opinion, Bumpastor is better. So I'm going to put Scott in the A plus tier. And I definitely don't feel like she's on that same level as like Lazarazu as well. Lazarazu for sure is better. Lundberg, not good. Q is better. Lundberg, all the way in the B plus. Champions League Kanu, a player that is very tall and a player that has the potential in the future, if he gets a better promo card, I reckon a lot of people will use him because of how the heading meta is in this game. But this Champions League card is not it in my opinion. I'm going to put him in the B plus tier. Cahill, bad pace, bad dribbling ability for a striker, not it. Cahill, B plus as well. Gomez, good shooting ability. 
are not good on a ball and very slow as a striker as well. I just feel like Gomez definitely does deserve a better card, but he ain't on the same tier as like Morientes, Forlan, Melito, and those players are in the A tier. So Gomez, all the way down into the B plus tier you go. Mustavi, I believe is how you say it. Technical dribble, obviously as a playstyle plus, is very nice. Good dribbling ability when it comes down to the left stick. Good passing ability as well, but the pace. That pace is not good enough. And if you're looking at the cams in the A tier, Brzezicki 100% is better. And players like uh, Foot Fancy Costa is better as well. Mustavi, I'm going to put him in the B plus tier. And just like that, we have got ourselves our heroes tier list. If there is anyone that you guys disagree with, maybe there's a player put too high or maybe too low, let me know who it is in the comment section. There's definitely a few heroes though that I would love to see get a promo card. Like Dina Tali. How has Di Natale not got a promo card? How? We all know once he gets that promo card, we're looking at an S or even an S plus tier card for sure. Like the base card is A plus tier for me. I just don't know how he hasn't had a promo card because he will be so good once he gets that promo card. Another player, JJ. Give me a promo jj come on five star skill moves already leave him in the premier league that's perfectly fine if you want to switch him to league good hey go ahead no complaints right nice little link to a uh, good old mbappe and my mukieli but leave him in a prem if you want to he already has the five star skill moves give him a better shooting ability and we are good to go jj's promo card once he gets that will be very very good but yeah that's two players i would love to see get a promo card in the future let me know if there's anyone in this uh, hero tier list that you guys feel like deserves a promo card but hasn't got one let me know who it is in the comment section but that's going to be it for the video hope you guys did enjoy it if you did make sure to leave a like make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace